John Robert de Cavell is known as one of Cincinnati's top chefs, but until recently, only his family and very close friends knew that he was battling stage four cancer. I sat down with him and talked about his prognosis, how he's feeling now, and why he refuses to let cancer slow him down. It's nearly impossible to keep up with Chef Jean Robert when he's in the kitchen. I feel, I feel good. I feel, I feel, I feel good. The only visible sign of his advanced cancer diagnosis is his now nearly bald head. When I started losing my hair, I was definitely, you know, a little bit more depressed and, you know, than, not because of my hair, it's just because suddenly people will recognize, people will recognize the fact like uh, something that's not going well with me. The often very private chef sat down with me and recalled getting the news last year around Memorial Day that he had a rare cancer in his lung. When I left the doctor office, I, you know, I stayed in my car and I was like, you know, I had a very hard time, you know, very hard time to, to accept it, you know, and, and it's, it's still so hard to. And perhaps the hardest part of all was telling his teenage daughter. You know, she's 15 years old, so it was a little bit hard, and I mean, it was, it was, it's hard. I've been there, one of the recipes are done. But good friends like world-renowned chef Daniel Boulud are doing their part to make sure that Jean Robert is getting the absolute best cancer treatment available, no matter the cost. It's important for him to battle it and win it. So we got brown paper. Boulud and Jean Robert teamed up this week for a very special six-course dinner. More than 100 people showed up for what the two chefs called a celebration of friendship. All proceeds from that dinner are going to help Jean Robert cover his medical bills, something he doesn't really like to talk about. I think where, you know, medical bills cost a lot of money, you know, and that's so suddenly you become, you know, become, uh, you know, you need to be, and if you get, you want to get the right treatment, then you need to be open to, I mean, it's not something I won't talk about because it's kind of like, you know, it's a personal. You know, helping a friend, there is nothing more important and rewarding than, you know, making someone you love happy. And this isn't the first time Boulud offered to help his good friend. In the 90s, he told the owners of the Masonette to take a chance and hire a young Jean Robert, who at the time was working in New York City. And Jean Robert, I put them in touch with the Commissar family. He came to Cincinnati, and the rest is history. A history that Jean Robert says will continue to be made. I hope to be one of the lucky ones who's able to, uh, you know, be strong and be able to, you know, fight. And Chef Jean Robert wrapped up his first round of chemo a few months ago when his hair is slowly but surely starting to grow back, as you saw there in that piece. And even better news, he recently learned that his cancer is in remission. So a big thank you to Chef Jean Robert uh, and his entire team for letting us come in for that interview.